What goes on, people? Welcome to Den Night. And today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Disney Gargoyles Demona figure from NECA. Now, I have all of them so far that I can on pre-order. This one I ended up just finding at Target all by itself. So I picked this one up a while. Let's take a quick look at the box. Side profile Demona. Back just has some previews of what she comes with. Collect them all kind of thing, which I've said before is kind of rare now to show the whole set on the back of the box. But, oh, actually Bronx is missing. Anyway, same side profile. And it's probably normal, normal NECA flap that opens full image of the figure and just a preview of all the accessories she comes with and also if I recall correctly she's another one of those with the huge wings and no folded wings but we'll cover that when we open it so with that said let's get her out of the box so, here we got Demona out of the show, yeah, out of the showcase, out of the box. <laughs> Skipping ahead. Anyway, just look at her um, accessories first. Starting with the magic book that I should remember the name of because I'm rewatching the show now, but I don't. Maybe it'll come to me later. Anyway, um, does it close all the way? So it closes all the way. A nice little clasp but I cannot open it for some reason there's words in it and hinges okay so something's up with my hinges I can't even open the book it's clearly meant to because it has hinges and visible words inside but I'll play around with that later uh, her weapons the iconic uh, rocket launcher she always uses. I don't know where she pulls it from, but... Uh, I like the detail on the shoulder pad. The scope. Does it go... Well, no, you can't see it in the camera, but it does end less than an inch down there, so it's not a hollow tube. Good detail on that. Uh, what's this? I don't know what this is. Kind of looks like a very oversized grappling gun of some sort, maybe. I don't remember her using this. Or is it just a standard Disney no-bullet gun laser gun kind of thing? <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember this one. But still detailed. I don't actually see a trigger. Was the yeah, the rocket launcher had a trigger. So I don't really know what this is. But it's neat looking. I would probably display her with the rocket launcher just because that's more of her, her thing. But still a neat piece. Uh, her tail. Some, some assembly required, obviously. She's got three sets of hands, including the ones on her, obviously. Which those are like claw hands fists and then these would be whore, her whore. <laughs> her uh, weapon hands then kind of looks like that's good uh, her angry gargoyle face with the red eyes and I do appreciate on both heads actually they gave her real metal earrings they aren't like cast in, they actually move around and everything. Kind of cool. I like that a lot. I like this face. It fits her personality a little bit more than the one that came on her. She looks a little too... I don't know. <laughs> happy. <laughs> we'll go with in that. But... I might end up displaying her with the angry face. And... 
for wings, of course, which another gar gargoyle figure that does not come with folded wings, so a lot of space taken up. I do know that I have Bronx coming, and he comes with folded wings for Goliath, which is weird, so you have to buy a whole other figure to get to com basically complete Goliath. So I wonder... <laughs> they're releasing everyone in the crew, so I, I wonder how that's going to work out. Are they just going to do a wing pack? Or what's going to happen? I don't know. But still good detail on the wings. Very leathery looking. Inside and out. Uh, a little bit of sloppy paint job. That is definitely blue transfer. Right? That's glare, but that is transfer. So yeah, slopping on the paint job. Um, and I also know that a lot of people had a problem with Demona and her wings being too heavy. Not staying up, so we'll see if I'm one of the unlucky people that's like that. Let's take a quick look at Demona. Like I said, the earrings on both heads. I don't really like this face, but... Decent uh, shading detail on the hair and everything. Her body looks a little flat, to be honest, but sculpt-wise, it's fine. For the price of NECA, I kind of wish they would go pinless, because now we have uh, sub-$30 Power Rangers figure figures from Hasbro going pinless, but I guess the amount of accessories kind of make up for it. Uh, good le good uh, fabric, I guess. Fabric-y detail on her clothing. Oh, the ankle bracelet's the same way. I don't know if it's metal. Yeah, it's metal. Kind of looks like one of those keychain things, to be honest, which it probably is. It's just gold-plated. It's fine. Nice touch. Better than her... Um, armband that is you can see I don't know that it's cast in but you can see the indents there if you look really close so if you took it off of her for some reason if you're able to but if you did there'd be big indents in her arm kind of weird weird choice anyway so she can stand on her own without the wings so before we do all the different poses and stuff. Let's do a quick cut and just see if her, if her wings will stay up. If I'm one of the lucky ones or unlucky ones. So, quick cut. So, a bit of a double-edged sword here. Um, I am lucky in that they apparently improved it, fixed whatever was wrong, because my wings stay up just fine. However, she's since she's not doesn't have like the uh, mass of Goliath, it's really hard to keep her standing. So she's kind of hunched over, just like this for now. Uh, probably going to have to actually use a stand for her. If I want any kind of, like, actual <laughs> aesthetically pleasing pose. And her wings also, just the way it is with her hair. It makes, the only way you can really do it, as you can see, is with her head pointed down like that. So, kind of annoying. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have to put on her stand, make it look like she's hovering to fix that. What I'm going to do, because I can't stand her up and tilt her head back farther. Mostly because of the wings and also because of the weight. So I'll play around with it. Uh, I've got lots, uh, lots of stuff. I can do different poses, so we'll do a quick cut, do some poses, and go to the showcase.
here we have Demona in the showcase next to Goliath. Uh, as you can see, the only real space effective way to do this with these guys is to kind of overlap the wing thing, the wings. Uh, I did get Bronx the other day, so I do have Goliath's folded wings in with him. I don't know how we're getting Demonas, what they're doing, if they're just going to do a big wing pack for everyone else, I don't know. But, as you can see, this is only two of them, and it's taking up a lot of real estate. So, hopefully we can get this figured out. I do like them so far. Uh, it is NECA. Not up to, like, Mezco quality for the more affordable, the more affordable side of the figures, but... Anyway, it's a good looking figure, pretty happy with it, other than the wings of course, but that'll do it for today. So like, comment, subscribe, do all those YouTube things, share this with someone who might enjoy it, and as always, keep collecting. Bye.